This is another moment with Octavia Spencer where maybe it underscores the conversation or maybe a point that her character yeah. is making, but it doesn't punctuate, you know, the, the conversation. Let's take a look and then let's talk about uh, what happens after this. Well, Wayne, you're not going to really take me to court, are you? Eloise is happy where she is. Eloise needs more love than just what her grandfather can give her. Now, Carol... God rest her soul. Carol was a mom. She and I, we had us a bond. Therefore, I had no reason to worry about my grandbaby. And now you do? Well, certain things a man can do, certain things a woman can do. I don't want to have to be the one to spell that out to you, Elliot, especially a man your age. I already told her that you're all welcome to come visit. I'm thinking with things the way they are. Life dealing us all the hands we've been dealt. She's been dealt. We need to start talking about a shared custody. Not gonna happen. No? No. Like I say, you're all welcome to come visit. But you don't want her down here, do you, Elliot? Down here with the black folks. Don't, don't start with that. Got a little black mouth tutor. Is that gonna do it? Hmm? Take care of that whole half of her soul. What is it with you? Why do you always have to go there? What is it with you that you don't want to admit that there's a there there? And this moment really underscored divisions, but ultimately it's about in inclusion, isn't it? Yeah, at the, at the core, this is about the welfare of a child, and, 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 and that's, 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 that's what's on everybody's mind. But what happens is, is as custody is, becomes an issue uh, and somebody starts to think they're going to lose, race comes in, and it's just handled so um, deftly mm -hmm. and, and in a way that we, we hate seeing ourselves do that, but we know we do it. And uh, the movies can mirror where we're at, and they can also, because we see it on the big screen, we can also walk outside in the light of day and go, I don't want to be that anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be that. When you see it, you say, I, I don't want to be it. If you're not able to really look at yourself, you're never going to have that moment. You just, you just keep on. And sometimes a movie can reflect something that can change us. Are we seeing the start of an evolution in Hollywood where no longer does, is there a perception that a black person has to be cast as a black character? Why can't a black person just play any character? I think that goes along with your representation. I've been very fortunate that seven, about 70% of the roles that I've played have not been specified as black men in the script. Uh, Hurt Locker, uh, a, a bunch of them. And I think we're at a place now in Hollywood where people are starting to take control of their own legacy and their own uh, future. If you look at what happened with you know, Selma. Selma was a dying project with no director. And David worked with Ava on, uh, on a movie uh, before that and then told the producers they had to meet with her and bring her in. And that's how she got on that movie. So I feel like we're starting to hold the reins a little bit. I think that but there's a lot more we can do for ourselves to make sure our, our movies are made and our stories are told. I always, I always, I just, I always thought um, Whitney was really pretty. You know, and, and that wasn't designated as, as white or black. It was just like, who can sing and who can act? And, <laughs> and I thought she was the prettiest girl. So it never bothered me, that whole idea. You know, I, I think I know what you're saying, but um, it does come into play. You're behind so many successful movies, whether it be in production or, you know, starring in Dances with Wolves. You think Bull Durham. You think Field of Dreams. Um, you know, My Bodyguard. What's most gratifying to you, starring in them or making them happen? I think making them happen at the end of the day because you, you go, what, what Anthony was saying, it's like, you know, somebody looks at a movie that maybe doesn't seem to have the value anymore. These movies can, can travel through time. I will tell you what, I bet you Bull Durham's made two, three hundred million dollars now. Why? Because it wasn't dependent on its opening weekend. It's like, was this movie about men and women set against the backdrop of minor league baseball? <laughs> what happens is it struck a chord in, the, in why it's so difficult to be with women, and we laugh at that. <laughs> and why is it so difficult to be with men? So what's happened? This movie became classic. And that's what we think happens with black or white. We think, you know, and black or white might have this giant life. And, and uh, you know, hopefully people do go see it. We, th we think that it is a movie that everyone should see because I think Anthony's point it bears repeating this like see some, somebody that doesn't look like you go see this movie and then have a talk black or white is uh, is about things 
that I think uh, that movies can be, which is we wish we would have said those things. Mm. And if I could, let's talk sports since you brought it up a little bit. And we, you know, you, you do have a history with you know sports movies That's from right. Field of Dreams mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. Draft mm -hmm. Day, and then you with I Am Marshall to mm -hmm. talk about a little football and what's happening right now. Got any thoughts or you know feelings about? Um, the Patriots and Tom yeah, Brady I've, and I've, I've, overinflated I've said, story. I've said, look, it's you know, there's a lot of people talking. Uh, some people that I really uh, respond to a lot, Troy Aikman, who I think is a very astute guy, and and I think you know feels very solid about what he's saying. But I say that when another man says to me, "I didn't do that," that means something to me too. So you're so it's a very difficult to point blank say to somebody like Bill Belichick or to, to Tom Brady, who I, who I really likes it. He said, "I didn't do it." I'm just going to I'm going to stay with that. You know, because I don't want to be confronting a man saying, you know, your back click saying you're a liar. I'm not going to say that to Tom. I, I I heard what Tom said. I'm going to accept that. You know, I I don't blame him for reaching in if a ball felt a little bit better than the other like you go, I'm taking this one. That's that's what you do. That's why there's 12 in there. Now, you know, you can get into the details of it, but fundamentally when a man says to me I didn't do that, I accept it. You want to leave it at there. Anthony? Um, I'm interested to see how Roger Goodell handles it. I think there's been a lot of up and down and a lot of tre trepidation with him as the commissioner. Uh, and a lot of things he's said he hasn't held true to. Uh, being a Saints fan with uh, Bounty Gate, um, I felt like we were punished in a way that set a benchmark for the rest of the NFL. So I want to see him stay on that line. Kevin Costner, what's up next? I hope I end up making a cowboy movie, um, <laughs> you know, but I do have a little movie coming out right now. What is it this. about that? Well, th what is it about that? There's, what, who doesn't want to get on a horse and get the bad guys? All right. That's what you do. Uh, <laughs> but I do have a movie coming out called McFarland yeah. about uh, uh, the sons and daughters of yeah. migrant farm workers who are a true story. And um, I think it's a very special movie, too. Disney has made it. So. Um, and I have a book coming out in the fall called Explorers Guild, where I'm a co-writer on it. So I got stuff. And then I'm, the, the kids' uh, baseball starting, you know, pretty soon. So. <laughs> <laughs> You're staying busy. Yeah, and who I'm doesn't busy. love cowboy hats and cowboy boots? Exactly. Love to wear them. Anthony, what's next for you? Uh, I start shooting uh, Captain America 3 in a few months. Yay. So I'll be falconing it back up again. Oh, exciting. Thanks so yeah. much. Good to Thank see you. you. Kevin, Anthony, thank, thank you. you.